Yeah, the project folder is created. Let's make sure this project is integrated with Python. First, we need to create Python virtual environment. Then we have to make sure this project is integrated with the Python in Python virtual environment. To create Python virtual environment, we should be able to launch the terminal and then we can take it further. The simplest way to launch the terminal is by clicking on this. It is nothing but a toggle panel. If there is no panel, it will create panel for us. You should be able to select the terminal from here and then you should be able to take it forward. Now using the default Python version, I will be creating the Python virtual environment. First, let us check the default Python version. In my case, I am going to use Python 3.13.1. However, you can use other Python versions as well. I would highly recommend to choose Python version which is greater than 3.7. That being said, uh, using this default Python version, I wanted to set up Python virtual environment. How to take care of it? You just have to use this command python -m -v -n -v. As our project name is Auto Sales Insights, uh, I'll be naming the virtual environment as asi-venv. Now let me hit enter. It will take care of creating a folder by this name in this project folder, which is nothing but Auto Sales Insights within this path. You can check whether this folder is created or not by going to the explorer. You can see it is created. Now we should integrate our VS code with the Python in this Python virtual environment. How to take care of it? You can exit from here. Then you have to hit Ctrl Shift P on Windows and Command Shift P on Mac. Here you have to search for select interpreter in case if you don't see this. Then you have to uh, select Python select interpreter. Now you see there are two Python 3.13.1s. This is the global one and this is the one which is related to our Python virtual environment. We need to make sure we select this. Once it is selected, then this VS Code project is integrated with the Python that is there as part of the Python virtual environment. Now if you click on this to launch the terminal, it will automatically activate the project with the Python virtual environment which is configured with this project. You can see the message here. Python virtual environment was successfully activated even though ASA-VNV indicator may not be present in the terminal prompt. If it is Mac or Ubuntu, you will be seeing the virtual environment name at the beginning here. In Windows, you have to install an extension, then only it will work. Yeah, as of now, I don't have extension. That's why it is not displaying the virtual environment name at the beginning, but it is activated. Uh, you can click on don't show again and then you can take it further. If you have git bash, if you choose git bash, it will show the Python virtual environment name at the beginning. Now, let's make sure we validate whether the Python version is Python 3.13.1 or not. You can see it is nothing but Python 3.13.1. You can also validate by exiting from here and then by creating hw.py file for hello world. Let me say hw.py. Now let me say print hello world. Let me save this. Now to validate whether the Python virtual environment is working as per the expectations or not, you should be able to right click, then go to run Python and then click on run Python file in terminal. You can actually see the complete path of the Python which is being used. Uh, it is using Python which is there as part of ASA-VNV, which means this project is successfully integrated with right Python version in right Python virtual environment. Now let me exit. Uh, as we are ready with uh, Python virtual environment and as VS Code is integrated with Python virtual environment, we can take it further. You can also check here, you can see it is uh, using Python 3.13.1 from ASI-VNV.